Welcome back. The potatoes have cooked beautifully together. The, the shallot has infused the cream. The flavors are amazing. By the way, I wish all of you could be here and taste this with me, but this is something that I'm doing on the 25th, which is a beer tasting. Me and Randy Sprecher from Sprecher Brewery are going to be together at Il Mito, and this is, what the, this is the meal that you're going to be tasting. Also, I'm doing a homemade broth as a first course and a rhubarb uh, cake at the end with a third course. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful event. Hopefully you join me. Somebody asked me, Chef, <coughs> uh, on the break, what is it, what can, can I do if I'm a vegetarian? Great question. Instead of chicken broth, you're going to use chicken stock in your cream here mixture. And instead of a veal, you can certainly use a portobello mushroom and do the same process and bread it and have that beautiful meaty texture. Now, let's talk about our ingredient, which is the main protein. Veal. Veal was created by industries that were mainly in dairy, dairy industry states. Because of the male animal that was also born, they couldn't do anything with it. They created the veal industry. This is what they use classically in Wiener Schnitzel. You're more than welcome to use chicken or pork, or you can use any meat that you wish and pound it thin. And we don't only pound it because we want to make it um, tender. We also pound it because we want to cook it fast. Now, egg is inside the milk, and I'm whisking the whole thing together with the help of a fork. And now we're creating an egg dip. So what we're going to do here, l allow me to put my surgical um, gloves on because I don't want to get my hand too dirty and then have to worry about washing it. Then first we're going to go into dry. We're going to season with a little bit of salt. Notice I'm using my other hand, a little bit of white pepper. Then we're going to tap the other side, shake the excess flour, go into the milk and egg mixture. And then we're going to go into the dry again. Look at this excess, let it drop off. Go into the breadcrumb. For those gluten-free friends of mine that are watching, you do not need to use regular breadcrumb. You can certainly use gluten-free breadcrumbs and tap it gently, not too much, because in Wiener Schnitzel, you want the crust to puff up a little bit. Okay? We're going to do this one, and now we're going to go back and do the same. Protein in the flour, season. Notice my veal was not white. Why is that? Because this is a free grazed veal. That means that it walks, and as it walks, the iron content of the blood increases and changes the color of the meat. Also, this is a huge indicator of flavor. Your veal would taste so much more, and it's grown humanely. It's not caged in any way. So one of my dear friends here in the state that does this is Strauss veal that you should enjoy. And again, as you don't uh, have the veal, use the chicken. Next, I'm going to sear it in a very hot pan, and I'm going to put this entire concoction of magnificent flavors together. Are you going to be there on the 25th? If not, I'm going to miss you anywhere, and I love you. See you soon. And by the way, I'm going to tell you one more thing before you go. The carrots. The carrots have glaze. Look at this. I know, I know. i got to let you go. So, you know what, Rob? Take it away. Please tell them the 25th they can come over. All right, sure. Why not? I'll take any invitation involved.